Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to day three of our March Through This devotional. I hope that the last couple of days have been helpful to you as we get started on this. Today will be the last and brief video to help encourage you onto your individual path, your individual intentional life with God. And so we're going to dive into day three of our devotional, and I'm going to show you one other way that you can journal today. But let's begin before we do that with some silence. Come into the presence of God. Experience Him as a loving presence. Watch your own body and, and, and be here in this moment with the Lord. So let's be still before Him now. Let's dive into day three on the devotional. I'm going to turn here to day three and see our scripture passage is John 1, 29 through 34. I'm going to turn there first. After being silent before the Lord, we're going to read this passage together. Okay, starting here in verse 29. The next day he saw Jesus coming toward him, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. I'm going to circle that. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this purpose I came, baptizing with water, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness, I saw the Spirit descend from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend, there's that phrase again, Spirit descend, Spirit descend, and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and have borne witness that this is the Son of God. I'm just going to refer, underline here the references to baptism here. Let's baptize again. You have the baptism of the Holy Spirit here and the baptism of water. Again, all these things, if you have time, can be, can be pursued further and studied. You can look up those phrases for where else they occur. Um, we're just gonna keep it simple again, like we have been most days, and we're going to turn now to reading what our writer for the day has to say about this. When rain is expected in the desert, plants should be watered before the rain comes. If the ground is too hard and dry, rain simply runs off and washes away without providing much needed hydration. But when the soil is prepared, so the soil is prepared and softened. The rain soaks in, giving life and water to thirsty plants. It is much the same with our hearts. When we are soaked in the truths of Scripture and our eyes are fixed in expectation of witnessing His presence and power in our lives, we will encounter Jesus. John's faith, saturated in the Old Testament promises of a Redeemer, compelled him to the work of preparation. John has been baptizing people with water, proclaiming the coming of one whom he had never seen or met. Because his heart was prepared to receive, he could immediately recognize what the world needed to behold, the Lamb of God. That's beautifully said. Okay, so we see some, some of these references to baptism here and um, John's expectations in that phrase, Behold the Lamb of God. And we're going to use some of those things as we come into a time of prayer. Um, you see the prayer is addressed to the Lamb of God. And so let's pray together. Again, you can always pause. You can always say more. You can write out a prayer. But let's pray at a minimum these words together. Jesus, 
Lamb of God, in you we live and move and have our being. Apart from you, we are nothing and have nothing. Yet so often we live as if we have no need of you. Forgive us, Lord. Help us learn to watch and wait for you. Cause us to long for your coming as John did. Increase our faith. Allow us to walk in the path of faithful obedience, even when we don't understand or can't see the whole picture. Teach us to notice with gratitude and faith your presence and power in the world and in our lives. Amen. Amen. I'm going to turn now to the devotional. and I have a little bit of room left today, so I'm going to go ahead and Start this down here at the bottom of the page, Wednesday, September 9th. And what I'm going to do today, what I, what I find myself as I read these and pray these things together, I'm just drawn to that phrase, behold the Lamb of God. And this is a practice that you can do if you want to for a day. You don't have to grab all the phrases or think about all the questions. You can just take one and unpack what it might mean. And so I'm going to just pray that today. I'm going to use my journal half of the time, and then I'm going to return to the question at the end of the day here. But I'm going to um, begin with just praying that, Behold the Lamb of God, and just hold that in my heart for a few moments in silence, and then write to the Lamb and, and encourage my heart to behold what He is doing in the world. So I'm going to start with that today. If you would like, you can pause the video and journal your own uh, thoughts on the Lamb of God or whatever else the Spirit is leading you to today. And now turning to the journaling question, it says... What are some ways to prepare your heart and mind to more fully recognize the presence of Jesus in your life? Ways to prepare heart and mind to experience Jesus. I think because I've already journaled some other things today, what I'm going to do is just put some here, ways to, I can experience the, the presence of Jesus. And so I'm going to do that now. I encourage you to do the same or to write out your prayer or however you want to do it today. Again, I hope that was an encouragement to you today and for the last few days that we've been together. I encourage you to make this project your own use this journal, use your pen, use the devotional to have this intentional life with God. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There's only the encouragement towards that life with Him. And so if you have any other questions, I'm available any time to help with this. Uh, love you so much. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Keep yourself in the love of God. Talk to you soon.